What's good, everybody? I'm back again with another video. And Techno Man, he guessed it correctly. We're going up against the Timberwolves in the Western Conference Finals. As you see, a healthy Carmelo Anthony taking off. Well, we got Anthony, but Gordon Hayward is set to return in probably a week or so from the broken ankle as Carmelo continues to stay high early in this game. We need him as we get the turnover from Trey Burke. I go up, throw the lob, and Melo is on fire this game. He is giving us an early lead here today, and we need it. I'm glad I don't have to do all the scoring. That's just great. So Melo is on pace to be back, be the original Melo that we had, that I got, I seen when I got traded here. So we're getting the ball. I'm calling for it, driving in, kicking it over to Cantor, and Cantor has increased his role in the absence of Melo. He and Favors knew what was up. We needed them as they continue to just shoot the lights out of it. I don't know what it is, but they are hitting everything. All three-pointers, as you see me getting my first bucket of the night. We are still down. I'm calling from the screen. I'm driving in, throwing up the alley to Rudy Gobert, and Rudy Gobert finishes it, takes his time like a big man should, and makes sure he gets the easy bucket. But I get the fat head right here on the play. Make sure you go pick up that poster at fathead.com. I was just hanging on the rim, chilling, you know, making the post a little bit better than what it was as I get the hoop in the harm, headed to the line with the Steve Nash free throw. And I got a lot of more energy in my guy, you know what I mean? Because Melo's out there doing, carrying his part of the scoring load, I can just save a lot of my energy, work on defense. As I say that, Kevin Martin pulls a three right in my face. You're wondering how they're getting this lead? Look right there, seven from nine for three that's the problem they're hitting everything right now as i'm calling for the screen i'm driving in going up getting the flush and look at pegovich just sliding on the floor check this out pegovich is just sliding come on pegovich Woo! get out the way so we get that flush another fat head we're still down six they pull up the jump shot they miss i'm snagging the rebound if i gotta grab every rebound i will do that as i get to the middle of the floor Going in, jumping into his chest, putting it up, and big boy in the defender. We know the goal up here in Minnesota. That's take one, and if we can, get both. Don't be greedy. Make sure we at least get one as Kevin Martin knocks down that three once again. They're on fire. Now I'm calling for it off the baseline, and I get the two-hand tomahawk looking like D. Rose on the play with the two-hand tomahawk cocking it back behind my head. Come on, man. I am in the zone right now with the fat heads. So now Kevin Martin's coming right back at me once again. It's a matchup of shooting guards, a finesse guard versus a power guard. He's got 13, I got 11. You know I can't let that ride. I call for the screen once again. I drive in. I take off with the nice reverse slam as you see me go crazy. We are not going out like that as I'm going to head to the line once again with the Steve Nash free throw. You see I'm hot. And it's in. So we still are trailing in this game. I'm trying everything possible. I kick it over. I'm definitely calling for that right back. He shouldn't even be in the game. I drive down. Find Holt and Holt knocks down the three-pointer right here before the half. We're trying to cut into this lead, go into it, and have some momentum coming out the third quarter. He misses this shot. We're going the other way after some solid defense. I'm taking it all the way in with the crossover. Finishing right in front of the rim. One on three, looking like Westbrook. Don't care who's in the way, I'm putting it up. As I go behind the back, I throw the lob up, and Cantor is the recipient with the beautiful reverse slam. He didn't even know I was throwing it to him, but I left it up there so long that all he had to do was just jump. And he got the flush. So we're down two. That's the start of the third quarter. I'm calling for the screen. He doesn't give it to me. I hit him with the roll after going the opposite way, and we have a tie ball game. Now I'm sizing my man up. Martin can't check me. I basically can't check Martin. So I'm sizing him up. I hit him with a step back and a bang, bang. A big time three-pointer right there to give us the lead back. I am on fire, eight for nine shooting. Now you see I just went out the game. We had a one-point lead, and just like that, we are down big. So we got a battle back here in the fourth quarter with the starting five as you see Trey Burke gets the layup after the steal 
Now, Burke, you know who to give that ball to. I'm on fire right now. Everyone, get out the way. I hit him with the jab step drive in, getting the flush. I silenced the crowd once again. They were not ready for this big monster jam. Kevin Martin playing horrible defense on the play. You see me hanging on the rim. I got to show him up. Now I'm setting the screen for Carmelo. Rolling to the basket. No one steps up. I get another flush on the play. We're still down one, but we're trying to get back and getting this lead late in this ball game. We got a chance to escape with a victory as now we're down three. I'm calling for the screen once again. I pull up and I get the bang, bang, and the hoop and the horn. A chance for a four-point play. This is definitely the NBA playoffs. If you notice, it happens all the time. Almost every game there's a four-point play now as I'm headed to the line with that Steve Nash free throw. This is a clutch free throw. We knock it down. We take the one-point lead. And now we just got to play some solid defense. They get it out to Kevin Martin. I try to jump at him. He misses. We're running the other way in transition. I'm calling for it. Taking on everybody. Driving in. Big boy on my way to the cup. Getting the bucket. I've been taking it strong to the basket all game. Not settling. As they shoot the three, they miss. I go up and snag the rebound. Doing what I got to do to get this win. We're still down three once again. I am waiting, waiting. Driving in, finding Derek Favors with the bounce pass. He goes up strong, making it a one-point game. Down one, they kick it out. He misses the three. I'm snagging that rebound once again. On the other end, Derek Favors rolling to the basket, gets the flush, giving us the lead here with 30 seconds remaining. And all I got to do is make sure Kevin Martin doesn't beat us. As Landry Fields gets fouled by Carmelo Anthony. I think that was a bailout call by the ref. You can't do that in the Western Conference Finals. So he goes up to the free throw line. A chance to give his team the lead. Well, now he's got a chance to tie the game. As he misses the first free throw, he goes up with the second. He misses. We get the rebound. I'm calling for it. They get it to me, and they intentionally foul me on the play. We had, they had a foul to give, so now I got a chance to get it on the inbound and on the run. I call for it. I get it away. Instead of me running the clock out, I go in and get a fat head once again. So many fat heads in this one video as I take off. I did the opposite of what you're supposed to do, but I knew I was going to score there. And now Kevin Martin takes a bad three-pointer. He misses. We get the rebound, and Derek Favors is going to the line. If he makes one, we win the ball game. And Derek Favors does just that. So we escape with game one. Y'all be good. I will have another video out real soon. We'll see what happens in game two. Carmelo actually injured his ankle in this video. So we don't know what we'll expect from him. Because we still don't have Gordon Hayward.